Hello, welcome to 3.4, parallel and perpendicular lines. How can I use properties of parallel and perpendicular li lines to solve real world problems? Um, it's not gonna be too hard. It's basically gonna be asking about parallel and perpendicular lines. So we got some definitions. Uh, if two lines are both parallel to a third line, then they're parallel to each other. Um, in other words, if A is parallel to C and B is parallel to C, then A and B are parallel. That's called the parallel line theorem. It's not too bad. It should be kind of common sense. Uh, but the biggest thing with these uh, theorems and these problems is just actually do a sketch. It'll make it so much easier. So for instance, if I know A is parallel to C, there's A and C, they're parallel. And B is also parallel to C. Well, then B would have to be the same direction. That'd be parallel then A and B are parallel. So yeah, well, clearly this one and that one, those are also parallel as well. So that's all it is. If you got two lines that are parallel to a third, then all three lines are parallel to each other. We can do a similar thing with perpendicular lines. Uh, this one says if two lines are both perpendicular to a third line, then they're parallel to each other. Let's try a sketch of this. We've got A is perpendicular to C. So let's have this be my A. If it's perpendicular, that means it forms a 90 degrees. So that'd be my C. So if those lines are perpendicular. And B is also perpendicular to C. Well, if this is C vertical, then B would be 90 degrees to that. Then A is parallel to B. Well, it seems pretty clear that those two are going to be parallel. So, yep. So that's all that's saying. So it's saying if you know a few things, you can figure out a third relationship. Um, last one. If a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it's perpendicular to both. So let's draw a sketch of this. Here A is parallel to B. So here's A and B, both parallel to each other. So those are my parallel marks. And I know B is perpendicular to C, so that means it forms a 90 degrees. So I know this is 90. Then my conclusion is A must be perpendicular to C. Well, that seems clear. If I'm perpendicular here and the lines are parallel, I'm also going to be perpendicular there. That's today's stuff. Uh, let's do a few examples. Uh, these examples are similar to problems 19, 21, and 23 that you'll see in your homework. Um, it's just giving you some of these scenarios. So the directions say A, B, C, and D are distinct lines. So that just means they're their own separate lines. They're not the same lines in the same play. And it says for each combination, tell how A and D relate. So I wanna figure out how A and D are, are um, related to each other. So the easiest way to do that is actually just do a sketch. So here I know A is parallel to B. So I could do a sketch and say, well, that's A, that's B. They're parallel to each other. So they're going in the same direction. Probably should label those A and B. I know B and C are parallel. Well, here's B there. So C is going to have to go the same direction as that. There is C. And it's going to be parallel to all those. And I know C is perpendicular to D. Oh, well, I'm adding a fourth line. All right. So if it's perpendicular, that means it forms a 90. So I know that's 90. And then the question is tell how A and D relate. So if I look at this picture, here was A, here was D. Looks like those things form a 90 degree angle. They're perpendicular. So the answer for this one is A is perpendicular to D. Just like that. That's gonna be the main thing for today. Um, let's do it for these other two just to make sure we understand it. Try it with this one. This time A is perpendicular to B. All right, let's draw my picture over here. Here's a perpendicular means it makes 90 degrees. So there's a sketch of B making 90. B is parallel to C. All right, well, B is going up and down. So C is parallel, it'll also go up and down. And C is parallel to D. Well, C is going up and down. If D is parallel, D will also go up and down. All right, all three of these are parallel. So then the question again is, how do A and D relate? Well, here's A, here's D. Looks like those are perpendicular again, 90 degrees. All right, um, I would encourage you to try this last one on your own.
pause the video, give it a shot. Okay, I'm gonna go over it now. So if you didn't pause the video, I guess you're watching, otherwise pause it and do it, try it on your own. A and B are perpendicular. So that means A and B form a 90 degree angle. B is parallel to C. That means B and C are both horizontal. They're both the same direction. So then C must be here. Those are parallel. And C is perpendicular to D. Well, that means it forms a 90 degree angle with C. So D must go like this. So then the question is, how do A and D relate? Well, it appears that those ones are parallel. A is parallel to D. Sketches can make your life a whole lot easier. All right, that's it. Just having fun practicing with parallel and perpendicular lines. You've got uh, just one, two, three, four, five problems to work through. Uh, these three we did examples like in class. Uh, that one's very similar. This one's review. So make sure you can work on that one. It's review, we've done it before. But if you're struggling with it, definitely come see me during my office hour. I can help you out. That's it. See you later.